Hi everybody and welcome to day one of Self Care Miss. My name is Heather Evans, I'm a self care and empowerment coach. To join me for Self Care Miss, remember to subscribe to my channel and click on that bell to get notified when I release a new video every other day in the month of December. Welcome to day one of Self Care Miss and thank you so much for joining me. I wanted to share a practice with you this morning that I recently started and I can't take credit for this. This actually, the idea for this practice came from a colleague and I started doing it and I'm noticing that it's making a huge difference in how I set up my day in terms of my mindset, in terms of how I'm feeling in my body and in terms of how connected I'm feeling to the things I want to achieve throughout the rest of the day. The practice is this, I've been getting up a little bit earlier than usual. Now, by a little bit earlier, a lot of times my getting up is dependent on when my toddler is getting up. So I've been carving out time around 5.30 to wake up in the morning and spend 15 minutes by myself. And what I've been doing with those 15 minutes is lighting a candle, and doing a bit of a variation of a candlelight meditation. Now, for those of you who are familiar with candlelight meditations, you know that typically you would light the candle and then the idea is that you stare at the flame. It gives you something to focus on. That's great, but I've been finding lately that my meditation practice hasn't been as grounding or nurturing as it usually has been in the past. So I've been working with something different. So what I do now is I light a candle and then I sit for 15 minutes with a journal. Here's another thing. If you've watched any of my videos, you know that I am not a journaler. You know that I am not somebody who typically writes things down, but I've been sitting with a journal and what I do is I take time to let whatever needs to come out, come out. I may or may not write it down. I'm not requiring myself to write anything down at this moment, but I am taking time to allow my thoughts to go where they want to, instead of focusing on the flame or instead of focusing on my breath. What I'm finding is that's giving my brain some freedom to roam. I'm getting some new ideas and I'm also giving myself permission to let go of the thoughts and things that are taking up space that are cluttering up my mind so that the things that really matter can come to the forefront. This is a practice I would like to invite you to participate in during the month of December. Try it out for yourself and you can set your own timing for this. If you have five minutes in the morning, if you have 10 minutes in the morning, if you want to sit for a full hour, permission to explore what timing works for you. You may need to get up a few minutes earlier. I typically do this in the morning before I move into my typical morning routine. And if you haven't seen what that looks like yet, it's Ayurvedic inspired. I'll include a link to that video in the corner above and in the description below. But let's walk through what this might look like. So I, I do sit on the floor sometimes. I'll, I'll sit at my dining room table if that's what I'm feeling. And I use this particular candle because I love it. It's really nice. So I just take the tea light out and the lighter doesn't work. I'm gonna go get another lighter. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> so you take a lighter and you would just light your candle and you can use any kind of candle that you like. I'm gonna pop mine back in the holder and I'm gonna leave this lit as I take time to let my mind wander. Again, I might write some things down, I might not. It really depends on how I'm feeling that day, what's coming up for me that day. I use a candle a lot with my clients, particularly when I'm teaching workshops. And there's a few reasons why, and I just wanna share them with you in case you happen to find them inspiring and you might come up with your own reasons for lighting a candle. But the name of my business is The Inner Fire. 
And I chose it for three very specific reasons. One is that a fire is heating. It gives us the energy we need to do the things that we want to do. It gives us the energy and the fuel to make the changes that we want to see in our life. The second thing is that fire is transformational. When a fire burns, it creates something new when it's extinguished. And that's the whole process of transformation. The third thing is that all of us have our own inner fire. We all have a spark in us, no matter how small. You have something that's in you that is propelling you forward to do the things that you're doing. And your spark might be your family. Your spark might be making a difference. Your spark might be nature or, or something else, your creativity, but all of us have a spark. And it's important for us to remember to light that spark to come back to it, to remember that it's there. So those are the three main reasons why fire is so important to my personal practice, to my business, to what the inner fire means. And it's a good reminder, as I've been doing this, this morning uh, practice, sitting with a journal and lighting this flame, it's brought me back to that. And it's been really nice to ground myself and to remember that I have that inner spark, that I have that inner heat, and that I am transforming along the journey. So join me in this candlelight meditation variation. Let me know how long you're planning on sitting for, and maybe an invitation to commit to doing this every single day during the month of December, and just see the difference that it makes. Stay ignited out there. I will see you soon for Self Care Mess Day Two. Bye.